actually really, really chuffed. I, I've been making some progress on essentially what I call my RC control line system for better words. And to me, this is possibly the biggest thing in control line since control line started. I don't know why anyone hasn't done this yet. But um, as I hinted in an earlier video when I first showed you some control line, the real problem I had with it is that for electric control line you relied on a timer which you hit the power and the motor would spin and you'd go around for however long and then at the end if you crashed the motor wouldn't turn off it would just keep beating itself to death on the ground now i had a big problem with that so i've come up with a solution and here it is now this is very much a little prototype but um what i've done let me see if i can find one on my desk I have oh, I've got so much rubbish everywhere haven't I so I have got a little receiver which you can buy from a company called Deltang and these receivers I'll bring a bit closer so you can see what it's all about this one actually has a little button on it but you can buy them without in fact it's easier to buy it without um, but um essentially what these do is they act as a very small DSMX transmitter so you can send a PPM signal to it and pretty much say, okay, I've got a six channel transmitter. It's fantastic. The guys, you know, they, they use them for free flight models. A lot of RC train, well not RC, but like sort of train, you know, model train enthusiasts. They use these things and they control the trains moving forwards and backwards with a little wireless remote. It's, it's just basically a short range transmit module that talks spectrum. Great. So I thought I need to somehow make a simple on and off throttle mechanism. So what I did is I programmed up a little Arduino, which is sitting inside this thing. And that Arduino basically generates a PPM signal. Um, now, I'm no expert coder on this. I found a library on the internet which generates the PPM signal. Um, and then I did a little bit of modification, which said, if I've got a button, you can see the button over here. If I push the button, I want channel one to go from minus 100 to positive 100. So basically saying, if I press the button, full power gets supplied. And that's conceptually all it does. It works. <laughs> so what I've done, my prototype, I've got basically a little 18650 cell to turn this thing on and off. I literally have to take the cell off. This is version one of it. And the idea is I can put the, the control yoke in my hand over here, this one over here, and when I'm ready to go, press the power. Now to prove this all works, let me get this lovely model that my son built and you can see I've got a little spectrum receiver in here and just alongside that behind it is the old original timer so all I'm going to be doing is popping that receiver over there on the side of the aircraft long and short if I get a handy 2s battery supply and I plug it in that's always positive that means a signal and I got my beeper and look here Magic! <laughs> but the net result, I have a wireless throttle for flying my control line. It's happy days, I'm really chuffed about this. Let me, for good old health and safety, take this all off. There we go. So, clearly, we now have a little transmitter. I haven't tested it in the real world yet. I suspect it will work perfectly. There should be about 50 to 60 meters range in this. Whether or not my having my hand around it attenuates the signal, we, we'll find out. But um, for now, I'll have a con that, that in my hand and the control yoke over here. But I'm kind of jumping to the next step already because I imagine a scenario with a control handle. So all I do is I extend that print to make an area for the two lines and then I can fly with a trigger for my throttle and my wrist for going up and down. I reckon that's probably a week and a half away because I kind of want to extend this a little bit more, get a power on and off switch and really just get it right. Um, and then obviously from there I'll decide if anyone wants one, then clearly all the files are highly likely to be published. I might well even go as far as selling these things via shops if they were interested. I don't know, you know, I'm wild with ideas at the moment. But um, yeah, we have a transmit module for controlling the throttle on control line. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, enjoy. I'm having a great time and um, I'm sure we'll chat soon. Cheers.